this broadcast, I'm just going to be talking about the controversy between uh, Dallas Stars forward Steve Ott and Flyers head coach uh, Peter Laviolette. Um, and uh, so tonight, uh, on Wednesday night, uh, December 21st, 2011, um, the Philadelphia Flyers were visiting the American Airlines Center in Dallas, and uh, the first intermission, um, the Stars are, you know, going down into the dressing room, and Laviolette he's kind of waiting by the side to sort of, to sort of insert himself so that he can take a shortcut to his own dressing room instead of having to go across the ice, you know, in dress shoes. Um, and Steve Ott sees him standing there, and he he stands in front of him. He and he, you know, he's just kind of like, yeah, you know, just wait for my team to go by, and um. I mean, yeah, that would be a respectable thing if he just kind of waited for the stars. And maybe he was going to do that. We don't know because Ott inserted himself. But um, the thing here is that Ott simply made something very, very small into something big, something that was on TSN, something that I'm broadcasting about. Okay, well, maybe that's not that big, but still it was on TSN. And so it... It, it, it's just not a thing that really makes you want to like Steve Ott, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, afterwards, he said in the interview, which, I'm, which I will link to uh, also on my blog, um, he, you know, he just kind of says, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a respectable thing to do. You know, if I was in, if I was in uh, Philadelphia's building, I would never, I would never do that. I would wait for the other team to go. Obviously, he's pretty arrogant, and he thinks that he's better than everybody else. That is just simply reading into it way too much. All Laviolette wants to do is take the shortcut to is take take the shortcut to his dressing room. If he waited for the stars, like if he waited for them to go and then went after you, do you think do you think that would have been all over TSN? Do you think it would have been like, oh, that was really awesome how he just waited for, that? or and even if he had inserted him, even if he had had butted in and just gone amongst the stars to his dressing room, do you think that would have been all over the news? No, because Ott inserted himself. And it's just, it's just a really stupid thing to do. Like, like, does Ott want to make enemies one time? One time a year do the Flyers go to Dallas. If that. If that. You know, like, this the, uh, this might have been their first visit to, to the American Airlines Center in, in two years. And Aw oh, just has to do this. Like, I mean, if you're, like, if you're going to do it, then do it with maybe, like, a division rival or something because then at least you're going to see them again and it's not going to be something that oh yeah last time we saw them this happened no like it's just it's just a really disrespectful thing to do for odd and and the reason Laviolette pushes past him is because he's 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 standing there and Ott just kind of stands in front of him and he doesn't like that like somebody's in his personal space and he just wants to get to a dressing room and I mean Maybe he had the intention of waiting for the stars to all go by. Maybe. But, you know, Ott's right there, and he's like, screw this. Like, that, that, I, I don't like what you're doing here. I don't like the way you're treating me. And as a move of retaliation, he just pushes past him. So I'm siding with Laviolette in this because I think that Ott read way too much into it, made something that was very, very small, like simply molecular into this huge deal that TSN had a good time talking about tonight. I I am very much against Steve Ott in this situation. So thank you for watching. Uh please comment and uh if you so choose subscribe. Thanks guys. God bless.